Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Okay, let's do a recap of week 11 of the marathon train so far. Week 11 took place from the 24th of July to the 30th of July and it's the final week of the endurance slash lactate threshold train block. Monday was just a bit of rest, um, did some walking, took a bit easy. The calf strain was still slightly there but it was recovering pretty well. Just did some light stretching and front running in the evening I guess. Tuesday was a 16k double recovery, 10k's in the morning, 6k's in the evening. I did the 10k in the morning on grass. It was quite steady and felt quite alright. And then I did the 6k recovery run at dusk this time which is better than last time I guess. Felt kind of bloated but went kind of smoothly for the most part. Wednesday was a 24k medium long run. I did a slightly different route this time. So I started at Camp C and then I went all the way to Sydney Park via the Cooks River Cycleway and I cut through Homebush. This is usually my long run route but yeah it was kind of nice to do it for like a medium long run and I went fairly okay I guess. Thursday was a 10k recovery, did it on grass again. For some reason my pace was a bit faster than usual in terms of like recovery pace but overall the run was pretty relaxed and yeah it went okay I guess. Friday was a 19k run with 11k's at lactate threshold pace in between. Did like a 5k on my first and then I did the 11k lactate threshold pace and then I did a 3k cooldown. The warm up was a bit slow but I added 4 strides at the end to help shake the legs out a bit more. The LT effort felt a bit difficult this time. The physical side isn't too bad but I think the mental side is a bit more challenging. It's a bit tough I guess. Running solo for like 11k's at LT pace. It got kind of windy towards the last 2k's of it. And then the 3k cooldown was fairly steady as well. So overall a pretty solid session just getting kind of difficult to do solo I guess. <laughs> Saturday was supposed to be 8k recovery. I did the first 5k's at Rhodes Park Run. For some reason it was quite warm and humid that day. Anyways I took a quite chill this time which is nice. I met up and ran with Declan for like 3.5k so kept me company as well. And then for the last 3k's of the recovery run I did it with Morgan. It was actually 4.6k's and we added some sprints on the footbridge for fun as well at the end. So overall Saturday's recovery run was quite chill except for the sprints at the end I guess. <laughs> Sunday was a 35k long run. I went into the long run with my legs feeling quite tired from Friday's LT effort. Had a decent breakfast though and set up with like just my soft last. So no gels. I don't think I really need them unless I'm doing some marathon pace efforts. I did my usual long run course which starts from Marrickville, goes all the way to Parramatta via the Cooks River Cycleway, Homebush and Sydney Park. The legs felt quite heavy at the start. It took me like around 16 kilometers of running before I finally got into my rhythm and it was getting warmer pretty quickly throughout the day. Surprisingly I didn't stop throughout the whole run to refill my soft flask. Maybe I should have but I didn't feel that bad in terms of like hydration even towards the end. It'd probably be a different story if it was like doing summer I guess. Finishing at Parramatta Park was kind of tough too. That little section between Parramatta Riverside to Parramatta Park there's like a few steep sections I guess. And then at Parramatta Park itself there's like a really steep hill. All of those are stuff I don't really look forward to towards like the last 5k's of my long run. But I pushed through and finished anyway so overall not too bad. It's also the longest run in, in my marathon train so I'm, I'm pretty glad I got it done and fairly well I guess. That brings the total mileage for the week to about 113k's. There's probably a couple more big weeks to follow before it starts ramping down. I also noticed it was getting warmer this week which makes me a bit nervous because I've been getting too used to running in the colder and windier conditions lately but suddenly it's been getting warmer out of nowhere so I have to really keep an eye out for like staying hydrated and fueled properly especially throughout my long runs. The following week is also going to be the start of the race preparation train block. So there's probably going to be more intervals and tune-up races sprinkled throughout, which is going to be fun, I guess. I also want to quickly talk about what I ate before, during and after my runs. I feel like it's a pretty important component of training. So in my earlier days of running, I used to just run fasted. I, I didn't really eat much or anything before my runs. This is in the context of like morning runs, by the way. If it's like an afternoon, evening or like night run, it's likely I've had a fair amount of food before those runs, I guess. So in the mornings, at most I have is like water and then I'm out the door straight into my runs. I think the reasoning or the mentality was I didn't want to feel bloated or sluggish for my runs and that was kind of fine in my earlier days but I guess in the context of marathon training right now especially with the higher mileage and more difficult workouts I couldn't really sustain my efforts during training if I didn't eat properly I often feel like hungry throughout my runs especially in the second half and then performance would take a hit and when I got back I had like some decent post run meals but like it doesn't really change the fact that I guess the runs might have went better if I ate a bit better beforehand. So what I did to resolve that was I just made more time for myself before my runs to get breakfast in. That might mean I had to like sleep earlier to wake up earlier and also prepare a few things the night before and at first it was kind of bothersome to do but over time I just got used to it and yeah these days I can't run without having breakfast anymore. So usually I'll have a decent amount of carbs before my runs maybe a bit of protein too but not too much. Pretty much like some simple carby food that's somewhat easy to digest. I'll probably eat 
30 minutes to an hour before most of my runs and like shorter races for longer runs and like longer races i would usually eat a bit more than normal and also a bit longer out as well so sometimes that might, that might be like an hour or two beforehand to let it settle i guess i also had to do a lot of trial and error to see what works for me i know for example i can eat like cold overnight oats before my runs but i know for others that they, they don't really sit well with that i guess so one of my staples is overnight oats i almost always have overnight oats before my runs these days pretty simple to prepare it takes a few minutes and it's it's always ready by next morning so usually it's just some plain old rolled oats i have used some quick or instant oats before and they work just fine as well i think chia seeds honey and also like either water or milk oat milk soy milk almond milk or whatever right and then in the morning right before i have my overnight oats i'll add in a little spoon of peanut butter maybe chuck in some dates or blueberries and topped up bananas right another one of my favorites is oat bars it's pretty simple to make like the way i do it is i use like ripe bananas and then i mix it with like chia seeds peanut butter honey sometimes i also add in some dates as well and of course rolled oats again you can use quick or instant oats but i think the texture isn't as nice when it's baked and then just bake it and store in the fridge i don't always eat my oat bars before my runs i might have a few before my long runs in addition to my overnight oats sometimes i bring a bar or two with me on my medium long runs or long runs i don't eat it do my runs because it's quite difficult to get down i guess i bring with me to have something to eat right after my runs basically <laughs> when i'm heading back home or whatever you can't go wrong with a banana or two but i'd much rather have it with overnight oats rather than on its own I don't feel like just having a banana or two or is enough for most of my runs even like if it's a recovery run I also like my bagels too um usually only for long runs though I have like one or two in addition to the overnight oats and maybe an oat bar or two it could be a plain sesame blueberry whatever bagel sometimes I add a little peanut butter inside or just have it on its own as well another one is pancakes i don't have pancakes too often but it's pretty simple to prepare some flour whole meal works pretty well too a bit of sugar a bit of water or milk sometimes i add in some oats to thicken it i guess chuck on a pan you can make like a bunch of them chuck in the fridge for tomorrow i guess and then in the morning either i just like heat it up or just have it straight up cold and then chuck some peanut butter or honey on it another one is also some yogurt and granola or muesli i don't have this too often before my runs it's usually like a post run kind of thing but sometimes when i forget to make my overnight oats then i'll just have this instead it's pretty quick and simple to make for me i just use like some plain greek yogurt chuck in the granola and muesli and then i'll top it with some fruit like bananas or blueberries and maybe some dates as well i still prefer overnight oats since it seems to be easy to digest for me but yeah yogurt isn't a bad substitute either i pretty much don't eat at all during my runs if i get a decent breakfast beforehand i find that it usually lasts me pretty well to the end of my runs for long runs i will carry some dates and maybe some oat bars but that's normally for like having a right after my run never really needed to have it in my run but i guess it's a good backup as well for marathon pace efforts i'll definitely carry like a gel or two just so that I, I can sustain like that slightly higher pace and also so i get some practice of taking the gels for the actual race i'll probably just take it every five to seven kilometers depending on how i feel after running it's probably best to get in some decent carbs and water right after it runs to help speed up the recovery process because i think your body can only process a certain amount of food over time after my runs i'm usually quite far from home so it's great to have those oat bars or dates that i carry with me it sort of like just keeps me at bay until i get home to have my proper post-run meals i guess and then when i get back i'll usually just eat whatever i can some yogurt and granola or muesli some fruits leftovers from the night before anything basically and honestly the sooner the better because i noticed that the longer i delay my post-run meals the more tired i'll get throughout the day to sum it up i think i put a high emphasis on what i eat before my runs as that usually sets the tone of how i feel throughout through my runs i don't eat anything at all except gels and after my runs i pretty much eat everything i can i don't always get the chance to eat a substantial meal right after my runs but there's little oat bars and like dates really help i guess i'm also not a dietitian by any means <laughs> this is what has worked for me for now remember to experiment so you get the chance to know what works for you you don't want to eat too much before you runs and, and feel bloated and get indigestion throughout and you don't want to eat too little and then you feel tired and hungry during your runs either so you really gotta listen to your body anyways feel free to let me know your thoughts and also what you like to eat before during and after your runs other than that thanks for watching and have a nice day bye